strip under the belly scalus, but it'll be like beads uh, along the edge, yeah. like micro scale is. Because apparently those two are very rich. It's all the time. But that'll be cool. about you through him. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, that's very simple to keep track. Do we have, um, can you find me a six inch cup? And I'm going to put. It takes a couple of generations. It actually took me about 10 years to get really good at those. Expo or Wayne Hill or I'll take those two. All right, that's my very, very best one. I know that is one that I would normally take home. Or not for color and pattern and size, everything about it is top shelf. All right, are they doing all right? Yeah. I can't, I can't help myself. I mean, that's a fantastic snake. Before I know it, there's 12. She's in shed, but look how pretty. And that's her mother. That's the trait they carry to having the yellow wow. bands around. I actually picked one up from you. <laughs> I mean, these are all animals that I had set aside as keepers. I brought 170, including you know, some adults display. But I hatched almost 3,000 snakes this year. So these are the best, right not on. the leftovers. That's the best male I have. That's why I put him next to the display. He's the biggest and the, and the most pink. Yeah. He's picking out a whole bunch of things. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Good, because that's that's the very best one. I yeah, <laughs> that's why I picked see. it. <laughs> and in my opinion, this either is a motley or is 100% het motley. The, the sun, when they're broken on the stripe like that, I'm not 100% you can see there's a pinstripe. And I have some really good females too that are pinstripe. So Lee Abbott's one of the best corn snake breeders around, so I decided to ask him a couple of questions. It'll last about a minute. You could skip it if you just want to look at the reptiles, but check it out. Hello. So I'm here with the legendary Lee Abbott. Um, how long have you been doing this, Lee Abbott? Well, I'm 55 now, and I've been breeding snakes since I was about 17 years old. I went and bought a little $10 book from a pet store. It was a man from England. I don't remember his, the author's name, but it was Breeding Snakes in Captivity. I just stuck with the corns. Um, they're so prolific and so variable, and, and nowadays you can make them look like just about any species. So they're, they're never-ending fun, and they're so dependable, and I just really enjoy it. And what I really like is every year here and all the other shows that I do throughout the year, you know, I meet people and, I, and, and see people I've seen my whole life. What snake are you known for most? Well, it's always been the Yokatees, but even back in the day, the, the, especially the people I knew from Europe were always asking me, what about all of your Okati morphs? And I really, at the time, was just known for gray bands and for Okatees. I liked animals that were beautiful the way they were in the wild. I had so much, once again, there were so many questions and demand, I started thinking about, you know what, I could do what everybody else is doing. And I uh, just did. I just gradually got into adding elements you know, to the Okatee. What is really, your personal favorite? If you could only pick well, one. Well, a lot of people ask me that, but... I love all the colors. I mean, I started with the original wild form, and really that is my favorite animal, to be honest. It's the one I bred the most of over time, but I'm having a lot of fun finding out how far you can take some of these color elements. And there's always surprises every year. I'd rather have something that I know is gonna hatch big and eat good. And then my friends and, and colleagues and people that, that meet me, they know they're gonna get a good animal. And I so if you're new to my channel, I do my walkthroughs with no music, so it's like you're at the show. This was a huge event. I can't fit everything in one video. I want to show you guys everything. So this is part one. There's going to be a part two, three, and there might be a part four. So stay tuned for that. And I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Send them online. Everybody, you know, online. You ever get to see one in person? No. Oh, man. Yeah, they're pretty awesome in person. Hell yeah, they are. You see, I mean, like, their eyes are just crazy. Yeah, that's awesome, I appreciate it. Sure, man. Definitely check these guys out. They have some amazing snakes tortoises turtles they even have an albino alligator that's one of the first times i've ever seen that in person when you breed these head hypos how often do you get a hypo come out if you breed two hypos or heads together um you get uh one out of four 25 percent well, those are really cool if you breed a, a head or a head to a hypo you'll get about half half and then hypo to hypo if you're 100 right? 
And then if you breed a, a hypo to a normal, you'll get 100% hats. And then the, when you get the, the hypo to hypo, the normal looking ones in the clutch will be 66% hat. Basically it's pretty much like the snake. Somewhere. It's exactly like snake. Yeah, yeah. Exactly like snake. Hey guys, I'm here with Brayden, and what's your channel name? Because you're a YouTuber too? RMR Reptiles. RMR Reptiles. And what did you buy today? I bought a, here I got a female possible het motley and an A-male scale, so it's also a possible het palmetto. And I got this from Lee Abbott. Nice. And nice. under First it, one? I got a female coral snow. I got this also from Lee Abbott, um, which I'm going to breed to my uh, coral snow male uh, next year for, my, um, for next year's breeding project. That's beautiful. So, I'll and is this your first time in the Daytona Expo? It is my first time. Daytona. How do you like it? It is crazy. This is like the biggest show I've ever seen. Like, like it's yeah. nothing like a Repticon. Like a Repticon, way small. This is insane. Like crazy. And what's your YouTube channel again? RMR Reptiles. So everybody, check out RMR Reptiles. He's a small channel. He's growing, and um, hopefully in the future, he's got a lot of a lot of amazing animals. Totally. Thank you for being in the video, man. Thank you. So I'm taking a nice little coffee break. I love my coffee. Now we get back to the reptiles. I love colubrids and I love all reptiles. So when I do these walkthrough videos, I want to show all of the animals so everybody watching can see what they like and it's like you're at the show. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos. If you do, please subscribe to the channel. It helps promote the videos and you get updates every time I post a new video. I thank you so much for your support. So whenever Mr. Reptiles is at a show, you'll know right away by that amazing flame-colored tablecloth that he has underneath. So he's going to get best tablecloth design at the show. Absolutely stunning. It is, right? Yeah, I used to do it by hand and it's shaking. shaking. Yeah. This is perfect. Are you trying for anything new or just. Oh, this uh, is their stuff. I'm just here uh, playing with them. They're always doing new stuff.
have any questions. I want to get the pink one. The pink one is so cute. One. That's full grown, right? Those guys are full grown. Yeah, I didn't know they get that big, huh? Yeah, 10 to 12 inches. Those guys are about 10. But they're very chunky for being males. at the start. Uh, I saw I, the video. Oh yeah? I shared it and everything. Oh cool. It was cool, awesome cool, dude. Cool, I thought cool. it came out really really nice. Yeah yeah. Yeah you weren't there so I didn't interview or not. I just was like let me record the animals. Yeah. 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 At least they have food at this one. Yeah, right? Because yeah. I was about to leave to get food and come back. And then I was like, I don't want to leave and they no. have food there. So. <laughs> it's so much more complicated. You staying here in Daytona? Or are yeah. you going back? I'll go back tomorrow. Oh, okay. I got here Thursday. I got a nice hotel on the beach. Oh, yeah. It's nice to get away from uh, It's kind of like vacation but what we like to do and love anyway so it's yeah. like a double whammy like a for me it's like a work vacation that way like yeah. on vacation working it's a good time well, it's always sad, cool. like, i just like the whole aura of being out here like the beach it's just nice exactly it's different so should we uh this is going to take a minute to warm up so you can still work on it cool. Look at this so i'm here with megan and steven and um what did you get here uh, we got a female California king snake. This one's nice. I like if you look in between the black, like the nice little bands. It, it's really faint, but you can see it. And what do you plan on pairing that with? I have a high white albino California king snake, and he's about the right breeding size. So I was looking for a female to match him. Okay. And what'd you get here? So I got a couple of all python uh, black pastel 
hip hive male and a pastel hip hive female. Do you plan on breeding them in the future? Yep. yep. Cool, cool, cool. Well, thank you guys for showing me what you got and hopefully you find some more stuff. Right. Thanks so much. <laughs> no problem. some point. Wow, look at that. You can fit a baby in there. You can use it like a baby crib. Only $25.90. Like butter. And I got Beautiful. It's all test stuff. You all these beautiful cases. I put the handles in, you know, they're in my shop. Now, these ARS racks may be expensive, but when you see them in person, you see the quality of the build. It's built to last forever. The bins pull in and out so smooth. The heating panel is perfectly on the back. They're definitely worth the money. Amazing racks. Oh no, I didn't see that one.
Did you draw that? I had to get my wife did. Oh, that's amazing. I had to capitalize on the, tour, on the tiger king. That's funny. <laughs> I love that. You should get a tattoo of that. You <laughs> Just the molt, there's not an animal or anything in it. Oh really? So the whole piece comes just off like that? Wow. Yeah. You can't really tell, but right there, you can kind of see the opening. I don't know how well you can see it on the video. Yeah. But that's pretty much where they come out of. They'll, they'll, right. That whole top part will just open up and they'll just that's slide weird. right out. So when they come out, they're a little softer, right? And yeah. And they get hard? Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> So they share the same stomach or? So they share the same digestive tract um, and then their upper body is separating. You can actually see on their shell where they had started to split and then they became one in the middle. That's crazy. And sometimes they don't live a long time, right? Correct. So this is one of the longest living two-headed turtles in the world. They usually only live maybe a year. This guy's about seven right now. Cool. Thank you so much You're for showing me that. You're very welcome. So this show is amazing. It's a huge, huge show. I can't fit the whole show into one video. I want to show you guys everything. So this is part one. Stay tuned for part two, part three. There might be a part four. So stay tuned. We got more coming.